What's up you guys, it's King, and today we're going to be working on creating hairstyles, and more importantly, the techniques I use for drawing different hair types. Now what I have here is six different heads of hair. Three women, and three men, and three different types of hair. Curly, straight, and short. Now I know that short isn't necessarily a hair type, but I'm using it as a basis to show you all not only more ways to draw hairstyles, but a way to draw faded hair and stubble as well. But that's enough talking. Let's just get into it. All right, so we're going to do curly hair first. As you can see, I already have the outline. The hair comes down a little past the shoulder, one side in the front, one in the back. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before. If you don't know how to start on an outline, just Google some references to use or you can mix and match to create one of your own. It's all up to you. Now the two most important things to remember when drawing hair is the point where it starts growing from, which in this case is right here. And you gotta stay consistent with the strands of hair, which is why we're starting off with curly hair. I know there are plenty of ways to draw curls, so you can always do some research on different hair types to find one that fits how you wanna do it. But for this video, I'm just gonna be moving in a wavy pattern, just like this. Each hair strand doesn't have to be the same, but move them roughly in the same direction and you will have your basic sketch down. Of course, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Just roughly have each strand moving in the same direction and you will be just fine. you guys so now that I have the rough down I'm just going to be going back over everything I'm kind of just gonna be going over the same exact strands of hair that I did but I'm gonna be making them darker and when they move in the same direction they're gonna be moving in closer tighter patches so that the hair actually looks like it's together instead of like kind of looking like a ramen packet like this does here. Like that that doesn't look like hair, that looks more like noodles. So let's just make these closer together, you know, pack them in, make sure that it actually looks like hair and yeah. All right, before I go too far, I want you guys to know that the closer the hair comes to the root, the less prominent the waves become. So down here, you can see the waves are kind of tight. They're really close patches. And then as you get closer to the root of the hair, the waves kind of loosen up a little bit. And then they just settle in right here where the hair starts growing. All right, so we finished up this first hairstyle and now we will be moving on to the male. Now for this one, I'm gonna draw these curls a bit tighter than the first set of hair and a lot shorter. And unlike what I did before, I'm gonna make sets of crescent shapes to make the impression of curls instead of waves like I did before. So I'm just going to move in a circular motion for the most part so that I can get these circles and I'll just move around the page as I go I'm not gonna stay in one place pretty much just going until the whole hairstyle is filled with circles except for these areas right here because it's gonna be faded right here so for the rest of the hair I'm just gonna be doing these crescent shapes and it's okay to just move freely 
you don't have to move in any pattern or anything like that because of course hair is not hair is not like that at all so I'm just gonna be moving in these crescent shapes and when you feel like you got enough then you can stop because this is just the first step Okay, so now that we have these loose curls in here, we're gonna make this go even further by drawing lines that curl from these spirals inward, and then they're going to pretty much do their own thing. You can pretty much take these lines however you want as long as they stay within the confines of this space that you've made for the hair. And yeah all right so now that we've finished this step the second thing to do is to define the curls and the best way to do that is to establish the sense of darkness and light and since I've already established a source of light with the first head of hair which is directly in front of this character we're going to maintain that and have the light in front. So every curl that's gonna be in the back is going to be darker. And everything that's kind of in the middle of these curls here, like these small lines that we've added in the second step, these are going to be lighter. And it's going to be accentuated the more you go. So let me get started here, especially on the outline which is going to be farther away from the source of light. Make this darker. I'm just gonna keep that going. So every crescent shape that I made previously is going to be filled in. And then I'll continue from there. All right, so here we have the curly hair done. I know that this isn't necessarily the best curly hair you will see on paper, but it is a great point to start off with. All right, you guys, and that will be it for this video. I will get back to you guys next week for another drawing tutorial where I will be doing the straight hairstyles. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment letting me know what you think, any suggestions, any issues that you've had with hair, stuff like that, and most importantly, subscribe. Again, thank you guys for watching, and King out.